little shop fun today. We've been working with the resin printer so far this summer and fall, and I've had good luck with the Anycubic and the Soraya Tech resins. We have the Conjure Rigid gray and black resins. Now, this is supposed to be some heavy duty stuff designed for manufacturing. We'll give this a go. What I've done is I've programmed in their settings and a test print and we'll see how it does. I like the packaging. It's kind of neat. So we got a kilogram of each. Uh, it was supposed to be two kilograms of each from the supplier for us to try out here on the channel with our projects, but we'll see how it goes. They urge to shake this stuff extremely well and also to make sure that you're running at 25C. So we'll see how we can do and we'll see how it comes out. I think I'm a little surprised. The smell isn't half bad. I expected far, far worse from like an industrial resin and it's not bad at all. Like it's still resin and it still smells, but that's not, that's not horrible. I think uh, we can live with that. Still wear your PPE and ventilate your shop though. Looks like a success. If you don't wish to deal with the different resins and 3D printing or just don't have the equipment yourself, you can always check out PCB Way. They do some pretty amazing 3D printing and have resin as well as standard FDM available, CNC and much more. Just go to their website, pcbway.com, ask for a quote and send them your files. PCB Way has supported this channel for a very long time and I'm happy to support them. So my intent here in these videos is not to show off how to do anything because I, I don't know yet. It's just to see what the results are for the first time trying something and yeah, just see how it works. So this didn't work. Uh, our little cube is not attached properly, but the rest might be in good shape. This resin is thick. It cooled off in here. The heat was off. So uh, this resin's a little thick. So just got to clean it up. No problem getting it off. Looks like a good start. Yeah, that's pretty good. Not bad for a first try. I'm going to wash it up. We'll give it a bath and some ethanol. Let's give it some time. Actually, I actually have a new impeller for this. Elegoo sent me one. This one's binding up on the shaft, so it uh, wasn't so good. Let's see how that goes. I suspect this is going to be pretty thick. It is. That is very, very thick. But it's pretty darn cold in here now that everything is cooled off. So, But that's... Another reason I'm actually testing it this way. My shop isn't ideal. Maybe yours isn't either. And I can warm it up good enough and warm up a heated chamber for the printer. Uh, but the rest of the shop is going to be cool. And when I need to work with things like draining the vat and putting the resin away and stuff, it's not going to be at the perfect temperature. Very rarely, in fact, it's either going to be too high or too low. So I like to test things in this environment and see how they work out. And so far, it's coming off there, no problem. Okay, this has been curing up for oh, 10, 15 minutes, I think I set it for. And we'll get a look at it. Looks to me like I had something on the FEP and it kind of distorted it enough. That, see how much thinner that is? Uh, yeah, something funny happened there, but it's not the filament or the resin's fault. Holy smokes, did that ever it did that ever come out good for a first try? Let me see if I can get a macro shot with my macro lens. But we just had the small failure of the supports, and that's it. Uh, other than whatever caused that goofed up thickness problem, but. Man, oh man, that's not bad for a first try. We can tune that. I am super pleased. So they actually show running this stuff up on a lathe in their ads for it. So I think we'll give that a try, because guess what? We have a lathe, and it'll be perfect. So someday in the future, we'll make a cylinder out of this, and we'll see if we can turn it down. But for now, uh, this is a hell of a start. That's good enough for me. Proved that I can print it and that it came out pretty good and I'll tune that as needed 
and we should be good to go.